Hello and welcome back. So it's been a, it's been a week. I have uh, been working on the sock that I showed you, I think last week. And I have been working on uh, the zigzag scarf. I recast it. So as for the sock, I have very little progress. Um, so I, I had to frog it several times. Um, and so this is what it looks like now. I'm doing a knit one, purl one rib. And then I'm going to do the body of the sock in a different, in a different pattern. Um, I think the pattern I'm using is on Ravelry. I'll have to put the link in the description. So come back for that if it's not there when you watch this, come back and I will have the link. The, the problem with the previous pattern, I think it was called uh, the spiral sock, was that the, the circumference of the sock seemed to be greater than the circumference of my ankle and of my foot. And I didn't want to. I didn't want to spend all that time knitting a sock, and it just not fit. And because it's the first sock I've ever knit, I didn't know how to compensate. I didn't know how to alter the sock to where it would fit my foot. So that's why I started over with another sock, and hopefully, it will fit. <laughs> the next thing was the zigzag scarf. Uh, I'm fussing with my hair because I'm not used to having straight hair and it keeps on landing on the side of my face which is kind of annoying so sorry about fussing with my hair normally I have very curly hair you've seen my you've seen my videos previously I've started keeping my projects in Ziploc bags to, so it shows the name of the pattern the needle that I'm using in US size and then the millimeters and then uh, the day I started it so this is the zigzag. Now I know you've seen this before. I've started this several times. I, I got I got the pattern um, from a lady in Nevada. I went to Sin City Knit Shop and it was super cute. I have to link the America's Knitting article that our blurb. <laughs> that was written about it uh, with my photographs, so you can see it. It's a really cute shop. Uh, she gave me this pattern, I believe she got it from Ravelry, and I have since found YouTube videos, and I have um, tried to, to knit this. So I, she had advised me to knit it on size eight needles, and so I tried size eight needles. I didn't like the drape. I didn't like it, and, and the pattern didn't, uh, not pattern, but the, the product didn't seem to look like what all the other zigzag scarves look like. So I thought, hmm, let me see what size needle they're using. And everybody seemed to agree that size two, a US size two was too small. And so I tried a US size four and I thought that the stitches were too tight. So then I moved it up to now a US size five, even though I wrote size four because I've changed it since but it's a 3.75 millimeter. Um, and I keep looking at the bag because I have my Knit Picks um, interchangeable um, Harmony. And they're so pretty. They're, they're rainbows. Can you see the rainbow? So pretty, so pretty. And I have them inside the bag because when I brought this, when I wanted to start this, I was not home, and I thought, well, I don't know what size needle I need to bring with me, so I just shoved them all in there. <laughs> uh, so look at my yarn balls, look how pretty, or their yarn cakes, look how pretty they are. And so they were kind of a mess before because the, um, because I hadn't, I hadn't balled them up properly, but I bought, and I'm going to move the camera so you can see it. my little side table here and it has all my knitting things that I want to just grab knitting and crochet and I got this knit picks um, yarn ball winder and and it makes really pretty cakes and I can't remember where I saw it 
but the first time I saw this type of ball winder, I think I was watching, I don't know, somebody's YouTube channel. I can't remember, and I hate not being able to give a shout out to that person. And I thought, ooh, I like the way that ball winder um, seems to, you have more control than when you're working with the electric ball winder. Now I have the Boy Electric Ball, ball Winder. Um, I'm looking for it. Usually I have it up here right next to me, but it looks like I brought it downstairs to the craft room. But anyhow, I'll have to show you a comparison on how they uh, wind the ball. Now I've found that with the electric ball winder that I was over winding the yarn and the yarn was limp and tired when, by the time I got to the, um, the end of the ball. And so I found that I can control this a whole lot better. Uh, I can control the tension on it a whole lot better than I can with the, with the electric ball winder. Now, that said, the electric ball winder is perfectly fine for other yarns that don't lose elasticity um, easy, like with cotton and other materials, I'm sure. Uh, but I really do enjoy using it. And I've, I've, I've uh, balled up just this was in the skein already. This was in the skein already, and I was just wanting to see how large of a cake this could accommodate. Now that's another thing about the Boy Electric ball winder is that something this large is about as big as it can do um, because the barrel is very close to the body of the machine, and this would actually cause the machine to struggle audibly. You can hear the motor make a lot of noise because this would be rubbing against the body of the machine. So this is about as big as you can get. My imagination says that I can probably make them as large as I would like because there's nothing around here. There's this little tension arm right here, but that can easily be removed and you can hold the yarn and provide your own tension um, and just kind of keep it you know, still. Uh, but I'm imagining that even so, even, even with this little line on you could probably make a very very large <laughs> cake of yarn so I ordered some t-shirts and I ordered them from Sunfrog shirts so it's such a cute I, I kept the package because it was adorable and I wanted you to see it but then I stuck it on itself and I think I ruined it <laughs> Look how cute that is! It's such a cute. It's a it's a tree it's a tree frog. I love frogs. I do. I'm Puerto Rican, so I've always identified with frogs, and this one is adorable with sunglasses and his little red hand and the sun behind him. It's so cute. I'm going to throw out this this uh, bag, but I wanted to show you uh, what the t-shirts come in. So I've already worn this one. And I already got a compliment on it. Is that not adorable? <laughs> and then I got one for knitting. It's a different style. It's a V-neck. So I got two super cute, two super cute, just love it. And that's what I've been up to. I didn't get to do my fall project that I had shown you where I had all the uh, fall foliage. I didn't get to do it. I've been kind of down. <laughs> Who knows what it is? I'm I'm going through testing for autoimmune deficiency or autoimmune disease, and I had a MRI scheduled last Saturday, and we were not able to do the MRI because they refused to do it because they didn't know whether or not I was pregnant, and I know I'm not pregnant. Um, I can't have children, <laughs> so but they didn't want to take my word for it. They wanted me to call the specialist and have him order a test, and. So I went throughout the rest of the week kind of, I'm in the middle of, an, of uh, I guess what I call a flare up and 
it would have been a bit perfect it would have been perfect for them to do the MRI during the flare-up because then they would have been able to see what exactly was inflamed and maybe what was causing the inflammation but because of the mix-up I was not able to get that done and so I have to call next week and get it rescheduled and hopefully I'll have another flare-up that's so terrible I mean it takes a lot of energy out of me because I'm in constant pain and um, but I'm not trying to ask for your sympathy or anything like that it's just something I live with I've lived with it for almost a decade now um, it's just gotten it's just gotten a little more intense um, since I've moved to Alaska the cold weather may be triggering it we're not exactly sure um, but you know I push through it and I, I try and do a little bit of crafting every day we you know what I can handle um, the good news is that I'm in a healthy place mentally, I'm in a healthy place emotionally, and um, I'm exercising now. I go to the gym three times a week, sometimes five, as many even as six, just depending on where my energy levels are because I have this great draw, this great desire to go. And, and it isn't because I want to go. It isn't because I was like, ooh, I want to make myself tired and sweaty. It's because I've paid so much for a personal trainer and I just feel so guilty when I cancel appointments. I had to cancel Friday and it just, ugh, I'm still, I feel terrible about it because again, I've, I'm putting a lot of money into this that could go to maybe even a new car. But I want to lose weight. I want to get healthy. I want to be stronger. Um, and I am getting stronger. I have been pretty impressed with the progress I've made over the last five months that I've been going. And while I haven't lost much, um, I'm still like 185 pounds. I think I've started like at 188. So I've only lost like three pounds, which is dismal and pathetic, but I've gotten so much stronger. I can do squats and I can do planks and I did a I did push-ups last week. Well, not proper push-ups, assisted push-ups using the Smith machine, but I'm doing push-ups. Um, that makes me happy. I see my physical therapist twice a week and she's been uh, working with my ankle that I injured last May. This past May is what I mean to say. This last past May, hmm, however you say it. And she's been using a sonic machine, a machine that helps aid in healing because I really don't want a cortisone shot. So yesterday she introduced me to essential oils. Now I've been using essential oils for minor things, but I'd never considered using it to manage pain. What she used yesterday was margarine, not margarine like you put on toast, but margarine and she used basil. So two essential oils that she rubbed into my, my foot. Mm. And within, an, uh, within half an hour, it was really feeling fine. I had full range of motion in my foot. So it was a combination obviously of the massage, using the sonic, um, I wish I would knew what the name of it is, that using that sonic machine and the essential oils. So I will be ordering the essential oils this week. Hopefully I'll be able to replicate that. Um, and so that's it, that's all. <laughs> um, I have really nothing much more to say. I hope you have a great weekend and I will probably insert a slideshow of a few things here and there and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.